As payment for the potion that would grow the princess legs, the witch demanded the princess's voice, which was peerless in beauty. So the mermaid princess had her little tongue cut out by the witch and could use her voice no more. Every time I drop by, you're further and further in debt. Uh, what do you expect? Everyone leaves me bills instead of a damn paycheck. I'm sleeping or eating pizza. It's pathetic. <sighs> what happened to the jukebox? 
Just find a way to fix it, will you? Don't be ridiculous. You're just too violent. You've never been able to handle things, whether they're simple machines or good-looking women. You need charm school, my friend. I totally agree. Yeah. The only way this thing's gonna get fixed is by getting parts for it, or you could find some way to get a different one altogether, but I bet that would be pricey. This jukebox of yours looks vintage to me, and that's gonna cost you. There's a lot of freaks into vintage stuff out there, you know, and you're one of them. Hey, Dante, why is this the only record you have framed? I've played that record more than any other, but it got scratched. I framed it because I couldn't bring myself to just throw it away. If you like it so much, I don't understand why you don't just buy another one. Look at it and you'll see why. I don't know the name of the singer or the song. Back in the day, that was one of those records in that jukebox. It's no use. It'd be a hell of a lot quicker to just go out and buy a new one, Dante. Yeah, like I got the money to do that. Of course you don't. All right, then. It doesn't have anything to do with demons, so I was planning on handing it off to someone else, but... What are you talking about? Talking about a job, of course. There's this abandoned building up north, and a secret room was discovered in it. Luckily, the room was airtight, so its contents were in good condition. A ton of never-played records were miraculously preserved there. The treasure hunters who got wind of this came to me, because they're looking for a bodyguard. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Why would they need a bodyguard? Well, Dante, it's your job to find out. Mr. Dante, thank you very much for accepting this position. We feel much more at ease knowing we have a man of your talent serving as our bodyguard. I'm afraid that our profession is simply treasure hunting. We are admittedly quite lousy when it comes to fighting. So this counts as treasure hunting? It certainly does. Correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't you accept this job because you thought the goods were going to be worth it? There are a lot of people out there willing to pay enormous sums of money for priceless antiques. Sometimes people will even kill the owners to get their hands on what I find. Some people must really dig their antiques. Hey, Tim. We should liven things up. Why don't you play something? Yeah, you bet. What's that? Oh, you mean this? Now this is something special. It's by the legendary rock queen, Elena Houston. First record she ever recorded, and it's all mine, the real thing. But this record is filled with her soul, the purest thing there ever was. Really? I don't suppose you'd be interested in playing that one for me. But... Yeah, let's give it a spin. It's good to have a listen to it every now and then. Not bad. Strikes you right to the core. Doesn't it? Her voice is kind of husky, but it's really good. Did you know she started writing the tunes and lyrics for these while she was just a musician on the street? You seem to know your stuff. Yeah, well... Well, time for me to get to work. No, no, you don't. Let it play. You gotta have music if you want to party.
thanks a lot there, man. There's no doubt about it. That was Elena back there. Elena and I were childhood friends. I was just a plain good-for-nothing kid, but Elena was different. She was this brilliant singer. How can I say it? Her voice had this strange power that drew people in, and I was one of those who were just spellbound by the very sound of it. I had this intense desire to have more people listen to her songs, even if it was just one more person. In the beginning, all that she had was a guitar. But before long, she got a band together and put out shows in the streets. And soon the whole city got to know her voice. And me, I just played dress up, put on the suit and the tie, went all around town making the sales pitches. I needed to help her any way I could, but the road was paved with so many rejections, with no backing from anyone. Just putting out a single record was further away than a dream. But it's a dream we had together. How long am I going to keep having to do this crap? Hey, take it easy. We just have to be patient. What we need to do is grind away at building a bigger fan base however we can. Grind away. Grind away. I swear you're always like this. Always the business. Always sales. I want to be famous. Uh, I've had it with this. Uh, take it easy. The next show is going to be at a bigger venue, I promise. The next uh, show? Uh, How many damn shows has it been now? I'm goddamn sick of this. Uh, <laughs> The only thing I want is for more people to lose themselves in my music. That's the only thing I care about. That's all I want. <laughs> Why can't you understand that, Tim? Elena, please. Suddenly, all of our work finally paid off for something. We got our shot at a major debut, and she gradually got more gigs. When we finally got that first album released, something we wanted for so long, we started getting popular. But these really strange things started to happen to all of the fans who were listening to her records. What strange things? Ah! <laughs>
<laughs> Is there something you're not satisfied with? Who are you? What's happened to everyone? Isn't it just what you wanted? A spellbinding voice that your fans couldn't do without. A devilishly beautiful voice. That's what you wanted, isn't it? <gasps> and you got what you wanted. Nothing more. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I... If you want something, you have to give something. It's what we say in the business, a trade-off. You are me and I am you, Elena. We are both of the same mind and body. So you use this on her? Yeah. I think she's searching for this record. I believe that she might be looking for her own songs. It sounds crazy, I know. So tell me, Dante, what is the Devil Hunter going to do with her? The woman you knew as Elena Houston isn't here anymore, man. What you saw was nothing but a demon. I suppose you're right. This music's a little rowdy for a funeral, though. My voice. My song. You want your songs back, don't you? If you do, you're going to have to kill those who stand in the way. You have to kill for your precious, precious songs. Let's kill them. That's... Let's crush them. Let's do it for your songs, the most precious things to you. Let's kill, 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 and then let's kill some more. You said it, didn't you? That for your songs you'd sacrifice anything. For my songs. Yes, for my songs. Wonderful, wonderful, the best, the rock queen! Please stop. Please don't do this anymore. I'm begging you. Your voice, your songs. I know this isn't what they were for. I'm begging you, Elena. Enough already. Enough. Elena, please. Please. Elena, just open your eyes and look at me. You can do it. <sighs> Elena, you just hang in there a little longer. I'll get a doctor for you. My record. What did you say, Elena? I can't hear you. Uh oh, it was you, wasn't it? I can't believe it. You still had my record. Tim? Of course, because it's, 
Because you're truly the greatest. I wish we could be together again. A tribute to the spirit of the queen. What would you ask for if you could have your wishes granted? Would you ask to be rich? Or to have the woman you're in love with be yours? You can wish for whatever you want. It's your business. But to have one's wishes come true always comes with a price. Every deal has a catch. You better be nice and careful. Next mission. Wishes come true.